Hello everybody, Rosita here. Thank you so much for joining me today in Beginning Spanish for Medical Professionals. Today we're going to be talking about how to greet and introduce yourself in Spanish. If you guys are interested in forming a group lesson or having a private lesson with me, check out my information at rositaruiz.com. I'll leave the information in the description window. In this video, what we're going to talk about is how to greet and introduce yourself to the patients. Now, the goal of this lesson is so that you'll be able to greet and introduce yourself to the patient by learning must-know greetings, learning must-know phrases, learn how to introduce yourself, and how to do and how to direct them in where they need to go. So let's check out some expressions. First we have buenos dias. Please repeat after me. Buenos dias. Perfecto. This means good morning. Then we have buenas tardes, which is good afternoon. Please repeat after me. Buenas tardes, not buenas, not buenas, buenas, buenas tardes. Now, buenas tardes can also mean good evening, but so does another expression, buenas noches. Please repeat after me, buenas noches. Excelente. All right, so Buenas tardes and buenas noches can both be used for good evening. Now, those two terms are indeed interchangeable. So you can use either or if you're using it as good evening. If it's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I would really not suggest to use buenas noches. Unless if you're going to bed. Speaking of, buenas noches means good night. So it's kind of like, think of it this way. You know how in English, where and when we are greeting someone in the evening hours, we'll say good evening, regardless if it's like eight o'clock. But as you guys are saying goodbye, then we say good night. The same thing applies to Spanish. Hola. That's a good one to know. Please repeat after me. Hola. Perfecto. Mucho gusto. Please repeat after me. Mucho gusto. This means nice to meet you. Soy. This means I am. There are two ways to say my name is or I am. You could say, soy, I am, then your name. Por ejemplo, mucho gusto, soy Rosita. Or interchangeably, I could say, hola, me llamo Rosita. My name is Rosita. So please repeat after me, me llamo. Perfect. Next expression, we have, prefiere usted? Please repeat after me. Prefiere usted? Now, this is a formal expression to say, do you prefer? Especially when you're dealing with new patients. You know, some people like to be referred as Mrs. Gonzalez or just Maria. So to find out what they prefer, just use this, just use this expression. Prefiere usted? Señora Gonzalez o or Maria. Next term, pásale. Go ahead. Please repeat after me. Pásale. All right. So let's just quickly go back. Let's look. Let's start from hola. Yes. So let's learn how to introduce ourselves. So repeat after me. Hola. Now you can choose from soy, then your name, or me llamo your name. So let's do that together in three, two, one. Soy Rosita, or me llamo Rosita. 
Perfecto. Prefiere usted when someone also introduces themselves? You can ask them, prefiere usted señora Gonzalez, Mrs. Gonzalez, o, or, Maria. Then we have, pásale. Perfect. Pásale. Go ahead. Come on in. Now, the next set of words that we're going to use today. Siéntese, por favor. Please repeat after me. Siéntese, por favor. Have a seat, please. Then we have, soy su. Please repeat after me. Soy su. This means I'm your. You can use this as a part of your introduction. So, por ejemplo, for an example, if I was your nurse. Hola, soy, I am, su enfermera, your nurse, Rosita. Let's try this out. So, here we have for doctor, doctor. If you are a female, doctora, nurse, enfermero, and a female nurse, enfermera. Here is a conversation, here's a script, and how we're going to do this is that I am going to read all of the conversation, listen to it carefully. Then, I am going to play the part of the patient, and you guys will read the part of the doctor. Then, we're gonna go vice versa, then I'll play the doctor, and you'll play, and you'll play the patient. Buenos dias, señora Gomez. Soy la doctora Pérez, paciente. Mucho gusto, doctor or nurse. Prefiere usted Juana o señora Gómez, paciente, patient. Prefiero Juana, por favor, doctor or nurse. Muy bien. Pásale y siéntese, por favor. Paciente. Gracias, doctora. Now, as you guys can see in parentheses, now obviously I can't see you, I don't know where you are, I don't know who you are. So please use the correct term that applies to you. If you're not a doctor or a nurse, if you're in the billing, this is just the foundation of how to introduce yourself in Spanish to a patient. Later on in the series, we're gonna be learning how to say the different occupations in the medical field. Go ahead and read the doctor. Three, two, one. Mucho gusto. Prefiero Juana, por favor. Gracias, doctor, doctora. O oh, señor, o oh, señora. Listo, perfecto. Good job, guys. All right, now let's switch. I'll go ahead and be the doctor. Buenos dias, señora Gomez. Soy la doctora Perez. Prefiere usted Juana o señora Gomez? Muy bien, Juana. Pásale y siéntese, por favor. So I really hope that you guys can use this as a foundation, as a guide to better communicate with the patients. And if you guys have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to ask. Uh, leave them in the comments below. As a teacher, I love questions. Now, you guys can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And again, if you guys are interested in having group classes at your clinic, at the hospital, or if you're interested in taking online lessons, please do not hesitate to check out my website for more information and how to book. All right, hasta la próxima. Nos vemos. Ciao.